Hey everybody, tonight we have a very special guest. I want to introduce you to my friend Kaylee. She has a very inspirational story and I really wanted to share it with everybody. So Kaylee, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name's Kaylee Martin and um, I guess I'll just jump right in. I uh, was diagnosed um, when I was 30 years old with breast cancer was quite a shock as you can imagine being 30 years old and um, I was actually living with my grandparents at the time taking care of them and um, it was really in the end I needed to be taken care of so it was sort of ironic and I was living on a cattle ranch in Oklahoma and um, at first I decided to try to do the traditional route with all of the allopathic medicine and um, I decided in the end to go towards nature like nature just called me back and um, I started as a vegetarian of course for almost like 20 years okay uh, I decided to go vegan after watching um, a number of films uh, having to do with cancer my, the most inspirational one for me was crazy sexy cancer I don't know if you've heard of Chris Carr no but um, she's actually from New York here uh -huh. and um, she's my hero and lives in Woodstock New York and she's a 10 year cancer survivor and she basically changed her diet and uh, has, you know she still has cancer as an incurable inoperable cancer but uh, she's still alive and kicking and doing well. Fighting it. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of actually followed in her footsteps. I followed her protocol and um, I did have one initial surgery and then I went to enroll myself in raw food school in Atlanta, Georgia to learn all about raw food and within two weeks I became vegan and then after that I went to raw food school, the Living Foods Institute in Atlanta and learned all about that and I became a raw vegan for a year and a half and um, my main like staple that I would do every single day was green juice and um, I really 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 feel that that is what kept me strong throughout. I did green juice one to three times a day and um, I'm actually a two-time cancer survivor because after doing a year and a half of raw foods, um, unfortunately, I guess you'd say, um, I went in for a yearly MRI and the cancer actually had returned or wasn't gone to begin with. I'm not sure which. And I can't spend my days thinking about that. Right. <laughs> so um, I continued on the raw food protocol and um, eating a very, very clean uh, vegan diet, you know, raw, mostly juices, nuts, seeds, dehydrated a lot, blended, um, all that sort of thing. And uh, I did go ahead and have four more surgeries. Wow. Uh, unilateral mastectomy and um, some reconstruction. But I continued with the green juice and I did some other, um, or non-allopathic stuff, I guess, like uh, acupuncture and chiropractic mm. and I saw shamans like I did the whole nine yards <laughs> you just, every which way every which angle you could like, attack it you did it remove this from me yeah absolutely and um, in the end you know I got through the chemo I got through the surgeries and um, you know I'm proud to say that I was never sick during the treatments like most people um, we'll go in for chemotherapy treatments and, and feel really down and really sick and, you know, can't get out of bed and that sort of thing. And I was thriving. Oh, you, it never affected you negatively? I was out hiking. I did lose all my hair, but um, I was out hiking and um, I just, I really felt like it was the plants that kept me strong. And I'm um, still till this day. You know, I, I don't juice maybe one to three times a day like I used to, but um, I, I do as often as I can. And, um, and I just, like I said, I think that that's really what made the, made the difference. And everybody in the hospital and doctors and everything were really amazed at my progress. And um, next month is actually my five year cancer anniversary. Oh, that's amazing. So going strong and um, yeah, I'm just here really to pay it forward. I really want to help others, and currently I am a peer, peer educator at my local hospital, so I'm set up where I'm, I navigate newly diagnosed breast cancer patients um, through the process, okay. basically. Where Do you um, talk diet with them at all? Or? I can, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, obviously, doctors sort of, that's a fine line, <laughs> right, you know, right. like, yeah, Kaylee, just go home and drink green juice and you'll be fine. <laughs> that's what I wanted them to say. It's like, oh, please just tell me. But um, I did my own research and um, I do definitely, I don't push a plant-based diet. I just let people know my story and my experience. Right. 
And um, and then I actually recommend some of the films that I saw, Crazy Sexy Cancer and um, Force Over Knives. I mean, there's so many that we could discuss here, but um, absolutely, you know, I, I think any time you have a life-threatening illness, or I mean, so many decisions in our lives, are, they're personal choices, right? And so I'm just there to help them and help others right. navigate through the process, so. That's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm really proud to have met you. Um, what else are you doing besides that? What well, else is in the works for Kaylee? Yeah, some exciting news. <laughs> um, actually, because of cancer, thank you so much, cancer, for coming into my life. In fact, I would, I would say that it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And it's life-changing, I'm sure. Absolutely. I mean, how I spend my time is different. How I think... Um, what I put in my body, what I put in my skin, you know, everything is totally different. I'm not the same person if you would have had me sitting here five years ago. Right. Um, so because of that, I um, am still 100% vegan, not raw so much. I gave that up a little bit. I do like to have a glass of wine every once in a while. <laughs> um, but I, I, like I said, I really want to pay it forward and help others. And I've started recently a blog, which I'm hoping to sort of turn into a business as well. And um, the blog is called cowgirlsandcollardgreens.com. And it's basically like a lifestyle blog, you know, that I talk about anything and everything from what kind of juicer to buy to, hey, just, you know, found this really cool skincare product, you should try it. or just anything and everything. Do you um, talk about cancer fighting all on that blog? I, yeah, cancer as well. And then I do have a little bit of a, um, a um, horse background, I should say, of horses. And so um, I consider myself a cowgirl. And I grew up riding horses. And um, so cowgirls and collard greens, my tagline is where yeehaw meets vegan. And I think it's really, really perfect because not only did I grow up um, riding horses and like, you know, being a cowgirl. Uh -huh. But I feel like cancer really gave me that cowgirl spirit, what I, what I call the cowgirl spirit, to yeah. like keep me going and keep me strong and, you know, yeehaw, giddy up, like, let's <laughs> do this. So, yeah, so I still, that's what I'm up to. I'm yeah. super exciting. I'm, I'm getting a really great response in the last few months. Mm -hmm. and I love your attitude. I definitely, it's, <laughs> you're really fun to be around. So I knew, I knew I wanted to introduce you to everybody just like when I first met you. Um, do you have any advice you want to give to anybody who may be diagnosed with cancer or you know what really got you through um, that you could pass on to the audience um, again I, I'm hesitant on one 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 hand to say you know go plant-based you know go vegan because it's such a personal choice I right. for me personally I felt like that is really what kept me strong I didn't get sick and um, and all of those things, but um, I would definitely recommend some of the movies that I've mentioned. Chris Carr, as I said, was a huge inspiration to me. Um, and so I, I would explore all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, and I think equally as important as um, a diet is also your mind. And so the power of the mind to me was just so important and getting into that space of like, okay, this has happened and I'm just gonna rock this. Like I'm gonna, this, I'm bigger than this. Yeah. Well, I mean, if your mind gives up, your body's probably going to follow, right? Right. <laughs> so. so, yeah. Well, guys, that's Kaylee. And if you want to check her out, it's Cowgirls and Collard Greens. You can check it out right here. And uh, thanks for coming on the show. I Absolutely. love your story. So it was nice to meet you. And Thank you. We'll see you again, I guess. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs>